What up guys, Miguel here of Yugatech, and we are back at it again with another specs comparison. If you happen to be looking for mid-range phones between 15 to 20,000 pesos, then the Honor X9A 5G and the Oppo Reno 8T are two good choices out there. The X9A is powered by a Qualcomm chip versus the MediaTek chipset on the Reno 8T, with both devices having a triple set of cameras at the rear. But with a 2,000 peso price difference, which phone will give you the most bang for your buck? Let's find out, shall we? Starting with their displays, both the X9A and the Reno 8T boast sharp AMOLED panels. The X9A feels more expensive thanks to its 6.67-inch curved display combined with a 120Hz refresh rate. Honor says that it has the strongest display yet on a smartphone, so you wouldn't have to worry about slapping a compatible screen protector on the X9A. Its display has reinforced glass that can endure instances like drops, impacts, and even being ran over by a car. The Reno 8T, on the other hand, has protection too. Its 6.43-inch screen features Gorilla Glass 5 protection on top, but it has a lower refresh rate at 90Hz. Underneath the X9A is a 5G-enabled chip, the Snapdragon 695, while the Reno 8T, despite having a newer chip, the Helio G99, only has 4G connectivity. Based off data, the Snapdragon 695 scored higher performance in all fronts as compared to the Helio G99. Still, both chips are decent enough for your daily operations and entertainment purposes. Both models are configured with 8GB of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. The Reno 8T does have the edge in this category, having an additional 8GB of extended memory plus up to 1TB of microSD card expansion. Like I mentioned earlier, both phones have a triple rear camera setup. The Reno 8T boasts a 100MP main portrait camera as compared to the 64MP on the X9A. At the front, the Reno 8T again has a higher megapixel count with a 32 megapixel selfie camera housed in a punch hole notch on the upper left corner of the screen. The X9A has a 16 megapixel selfie lens placed in a punch hole cutout too, but instead at the upper center. Sure, megapixel count does not necessarily equal to better camera quality, but on paper, this gives your image much more detail. The X9A packs a slightly bigger battery capacity at 5100 mAh and it's coupled with 40 watts of fast charging, while the Reno 8T defaults to 5000 mAh and has a slower charging rate at 33 watts based on Oppo SuperVOOC charging technology. Other similarities between the X9A and Reno 8T are an under-display fingerprint sensor and NFC. The Reno 8T, despite only having 4G connectivity, has an updated Android 13 out of the box overlaid with ColorOS 13. The X9A, on the other hand, has 5G support but runs on an older Android 12 with Magic UI 6.1 skinned on top. Operating systems can be a minor thing because it does come down to preference. With that being said, we can expect at least one year of major software updates from both brands considering these are mid-range devices. The 5G capability, which most of us prefer, definitely makes the X9A a step ahead in this matchup. So, which one should you get? On paper, the Honor X9A 5G has much more to offer, and at a lower price too. For only 16,990 pesos, it brings a stronger and more durable display, a better chipset with 5G support, and faster charging. But if you do prefer to have a phone that captures good photos with more detail, then the Oppo Reno 8T will not disappoint. It packs better cameras, a newer Android version, and an option for expandable storage retailing for only 18,999 pesos. Ultimately, the choice is always yours. So if you're choosing between the Honor X9A 5G and the Oppo Reno 8T, which one would you get and why? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon to get notified for our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I will see you in the next one.